Hi, Capricorn. Now, Capricorn, this could um, connect in with you in any kind of significant way from your natal chart or for anyone here who is um, curious about Capricorn, this this reading could uh, resonate with you as well. Um, just knowing it won't fit for everyone, that would be um, quite strange if it connected into everyone. But hopefully there's something here that can help you along the way, Capricorn. Um, um, in addition, I am doing uh, personal readings again, Capricorn. So if there's anything I can do to help you, uh, feel free to look uh, um, at the link in the video description box um, um, to get to the store. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, look at the sun. The sun flipped over Capricorn with the Three of Cups. So I'm not sure what's gone on in the past, but it looks like there's been some coming together um, uh, around you, either friends and family, some sort of um, reun reunification kind of energy here, Capricorn, which is really nice to see that. Oh, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles coming. Oh my gosh. Well, should we just keep it at this? Let's just, this is the reading Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn. <laughs> We love the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Now, before I get too excited, I don't want to get too excited because we have a whole spread to go. So, all right. Got to calm down here. See what we have, Capricorn. Let's see what we have for you. Ooh, what was that? That's interesting. Four of Cups. Queen of Cups. Also have the Four of Pentacles flip over as well, and a whole stack of them flipped over. There's a, there's a big burst of energy. All right, let's keep going. All right. These I'm going to hold together, I think. Uh, magician with the Empress over the top. Okay, these are together. All right, let's see. I shuffled the heck out of these cards before I started as well. So it's really interesting. A fresh energy. I have to say there's like a fresh energy coming in. As I say that, Capricorn, we have the Ten of Wands. <laughs> High Priestess. Knight of Pentacles. We'll leave him like this. Two of Swords. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, let me put these cards down and get I get myself into this. Through the 20th, you are going to be in this Two of Swords kind of mindset, Capricorn. So um, there... There, um, I feel like there are some things around you, Capricorn, that you really haven't appreciated. It's, you know, I think that there's um, been some work that you've been doing or something here that you've been doing that you really haven't appreciated. And I think you've been on this journey to really try to understand, like, how did this happen? How did you get in this predicament? Um, how did life become so heavy? Like, I think that you are in this process of, of really trying to think through some of these things. And I think that you have some options here, Capricorn. Like, I think whatever this Ace of Pentacles is that's sitting here, uh, I think that you do have the, some options as you're moving forward. But I really also think that and what you're doing now in, in many ways is um, something that you're also considering. Like what you're doing now, it's something that you're also considering, which is such an interesting energy. Um, that you are in some sort of new energy, Capricorn. There, there, the Ace of Pentacles doesn't lie. Like there's some sort of improvement here. And you're in that energy. You, you are experiencing something new in your life, Capricorn, for this group of Capricorns. Now, I do think that there has been improvement here as well. There has been some improvement, and I think that as you look back over the months, you're going to recognize, you'll see, um, okay, yeah, I can see with the, this is better, and this is better, and this is better. But it, there is this energy, Capricorn, of just tiredness. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do all this. I don't know how this is all going to come together. You could be questioning, like, 
the work involved. You could be questioning the schedule. You could be questioning everything that it's taking from you. I do. I just think that you're in a position of really looking at what's going on, looking at these improvements that are here for you and trying to figure out like, is this doable or not? Is this something that I can continue doing or do I need to make, do some, take some further steps? Because I do think that you're feeling tired and I think you're worn out. Uh, it's not like you're with, like you have other things you can do and you have other options, but you know, I mean, for some reason, I think this one is the one that's most, probably most stable. It's probably makes the most sense. Now, Capricorn, we have you in this metal energy with a high priestess. I, I just really think that there's something here you're, you're really contemplating in a very deep way. Um, you could be being, you know, fairly quiet about this as well. Uh, you are moving into the five of wands and I do feel Capricorn there, there could be someone around you or a situation around you that really is like, um, it's something that in many ways, like the energy is flowing in a different way. The, there's a situation around you and it has to do with how you feel about yourself, Capricorn. And I feel like whatever's going on around you, that you're doing is somehow at odds with some sort of purpose. Like there, like something is, um, catawampus, but it's not like it's terrible. It, it's, it's that it's like, uh, I have to go into this five of wands because it, it moves up over the high priestess. So it's something that you're being fairly quiet about. And I think that you've thought a lot about this and uh, there could be a high priestess here. There could be a Pisces or Scorpio or cancer around uh, Capricorn. It would be a feminine for sure. I feel it would be a feminine energy. Um, and the five of wands goes over the top of the high priestess and the knight of pentacles um, into uh, the, the queen of, cups. I really feel, uh, Capricorn, this could really be about looking at ways that you're doing things and the schedule that you have and the routines that are going on, because it might, um, I just think that you're doing some, you're, you're going up against something. You're trying to figure something out, working between two people, trying to figure out how to get a bunch of different things done, how to, how to get a bunch of, that you could be working on time management. This is really, we do have a queen of cups. So we know that this, this is really about um, making sure that your needs are being met, like your emotional needs or nurturing needs, as well as those people that are very close to you as well. Like the queen of cups is, is aware that her health is radiated around her. So if she's not strong, um, you know, the situation around her might weaken as well. Like she is fully aware of that. So this queen of cups could be you trying to like figure out, okay, how am I going to do this? Uh, and still stay healthy within myself. Or you could have a queen of cups here who is um, working with you in some way or in this project with you in some way. And you could be kind of coming up against her on something um, that she, so there, for some of you, you could have people here that you're working with and really trying to figure out um, how to get it all done, how to make it all happen. Now we have you in the high priestess with the four of cups. So I think that Capricorn, you could be being fairly quiet. Like people might not really be hearing from you or, or the, the words that you say might be cut short. And that's something that's quite a skill Capricorn to be able to limit the words that you use. Um, to, to be able to be very precise in the things that you say and not to say too much. The high priestess has that kind of talent to, to be that way. So I feel like you're being fairly quiet and whatever's going on with this, um, complexity that you're working on. I feel like it's something that you're going to try to do within yourself or figure it out in your own way. Um, there is an opportunity here and, and there is some, some progress that's being made. And I feel like this, uh, situation that you're working on to, to find a way to move past this, something to move past, um, a, a scheduling methodology to move past, a personal conflict to move past, um, an agenda or an itinerary or a, a schedule to kind of move past. It just feels like, um, there's a lot going on here. I, it does look uh, to me, Capricorn, that there is some progress being made, but it could be hindered by some additional 
like complexities or people wanting you. I just feels like there could be a lot of people here wanting things from you, wanting your time, wanting this, wanting that. And you could just be trying to like fight back because I think that you're working on something here that's, that's making progress for you. And I think that you are wanting to continue in that direction. The Knight of Pentacles does talk about improvements financially, and you're starting the week out with Ace of Pentacles. So uh, whatever's going on here, Capricorn, I think it's going to be important for you to figure out, like, is this something I can continue doing as is, or do I need to make some further changes here? And then this complexity that comes in at the, end, at the last half of this week, I, I think it could be um, frustrating for you as you want to continue to make progress. Cap Capricorn, you like to always to make progress. You always want to be making progress. Like you're not really wanting to work unless it makes sense to do it. Like, why are we doing this? There could even be a question like, what is the purpose for this priority? What are the priorities for you? And let me share my priorities because whatever's happening here, the progress that you're trying to make Capricorn is feels like it's being threatened, right? It's being, it's trying to be overtaken. Um, by someone else's will or somebody else's desire to do something that they're wanting to do. So it's going to require you to be strong in your intentions, uh, to understand that if you dilly dally or if you let someone else come in and take charge, that your progress could very well be slowed down. So I do think that there's a seriousness this week, Capricorn, like you're very serious this week. There's something here that's very valuable. And I think this is all about really uh, making sure that your priorities are in the precision place where you like them to be because it feels like there could be uh, some scheduling challenges this next week. So like as you start this coming week, Capricorn, you might want to put down your goals for the week, your goals, right? Because I feel like there could be other people around here, Capricorn, who are like coming in and, and trying to trying to pull at you. So if you can start the week knowing what your goals are and knowing like, okay, these are my priorities. I'm going to have to fight for them, whatever, because I think that you are going to have to kind of stick up for yourself this week. There is progress being made, Capricorn. That's really beautiful to see. And um, I think that you are fully aware and it's going to give you enough um, oomph. It's going to give you a, a, a good push to really protect this progress that you're making. You end the week with the magician and the empress over the top. So um, whatever you're doing, I think you're having a quite a, a beautiful, creative weekend. Uh, something that you're doing, something that you're hatching from the maternal feminine, the, the maternal part of you that loves to bring new things to life and loves to see things grow and tries to make everything around her as healthy as can be, including plants and um, and, and uh, whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's very creative and you could be quite busy doing something, um, that you might not have really done for a while. Uh, the Empress is here. So you have this beautiful, wholesome quality about it. You know, your power Capricorn at the end of the week, and you're doing something here could be connected in with this progress it could be an addition or an enhancement to your work or to this income that you're bringing in. Uh, something that you're really kind of looking at yourself saying, okay, what do I really have here? I have two computers. I have a microphone. I have a webcam on my computer. Um, well, what else do I have around here that I could use? Okay. I, I, you know, and it's kind of like, all right, what do I have? What do I have here? Uh, and it might be that you really have everything you need. That's the Empress. Like she's got it all. The mom, like you ask a mom to dig into her purse and she can find anything in there. Like the Empress is like that. Her kitchen drawers are full of wonderful tools and um, knickknacks and things like that. The Empress has a way of getting, um, of getting things done, Capricorn. So whatever it is you're working on, I think that, um, I, I think that you're going to be in a great energy to do it. And I, I just feel like there's going to be some project this next weekend, not this weekend, but this next weekend that you're going to be like, you're going to be in the perfect way able to kind of take it on Capricorn. So I just feel something beautiful is coming in for you here. That's going to be fun to work on. And I'd like to see the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, don't let these, these, people around slow you down Capricorn because I think that you're going to be making some nice progress here stay you know you're gonna maybe there's just a schedule that you're going to need to follow you might have lots of temptations this week to come here and do this and hey you want to go here you want to go for lunch you want to do this you might have to really buckle down and and um and figure this this part of it out because this is important to you I feel and I feel you are making progress so um yeah I don't want yeah okay it just feels like there's more information in this area. That's what it feels like. There's more information here, but it is a general reading. So 
Um, there's something here that you're working on. I just feel like there, you could be trying to figure out like, what is my schedule going to be? How am I going to keep all this together? Um, what am I not seeing here? There's something big about this Ace of Pentacles. Let's, I want to go into this energy. Like there's just a whole of energy here. So I'm just going to go into this and see what other cards come out. Ten of Swords. How do I put this other thing down? There could be something that you need to put down, right? There could be a, an old job that you're moving away from or an old project that you're moving away from or just something that hasn't really been working for you, something that's been hard or something that's been uh, really difficult. There's something new here. And it with the Ten of Swords coming in over the top, for many of you, I think that this is something that you're probably needing to make a transition or empty empty out your your schedule just a little bit more because uh, what you're doing now could be could be significantly harder than if you could somehow make arrangements for some differences in in some in somehow because I feel like there's something here that needs to be let go. I just feel like that's sliding away, sliding away, sliding away. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Let's go into this Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles energy. Knight of Wands. Boom. It's just, oh, look, see the energy. It's, it's like Knight of Wands. It comes in fast. Uh, it could be a new relationship. It could be a new job. It could be a new job potential. It could be something different you're going to be offering to clients. It's something that's connected to money. It's connected to the dough. <laughs> Why did I say that? I don't know. A page of Pentacles in reverse. This is something bigger than... Um, yeah, there's some sort of topsy trivy. It came in reverse. I, it could be in the upright. It flipped around and hit my arm. So it could be in the upright. Uh, but I'm going to leave it like that because I'm not scared of the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Star energy. Yeah, you might be putting something else down. That's what something else small that you've got going on. That this might come in and replace it. It's going to come in fast. It's going to be something that you can do really, you can do really well. <laughs> Could be an idea that you have or something, but it's connected to the Ace of Pentacles. So there is opportunity. There is opportunity connected with this. This is the, the that's a money card right there. So um, there's opportunity. It's something that you can do really well, Capricorn. Something that's, I mean, how it's rare when something like this happens. So there's going to be something that's just really um, on par with with where you're going and and um, and where you are. Let's go into the Knight of Pentacles energy. King of Wands flipped over. Knight of Pentacles energy. Lovers. Lovers on its side. Um, there might be a partnerships here, and there might be families here, and there might be lovers here. But I, this is what I heard. Um, this is what I heard in my head when this card dropped. I heard, I know where my power lies. I know where my power lies. So whatever is happening here, um, even though there are people around you, I think you're taking a dominant, like you're, you have your own authority. That's what I want to say, Capricorn. You have your own authority here. Um, and I think that you're saying, look, look, I'm the, I, I have the authority to do this. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, you're making some beautiful changes, my friends. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy. You know how to do it. You know what's important to you. You've worked hard for this. You know what your rights are. You know what your talents are. You know how to get this. You know how to do this. So whatever's causing a little bit of a slowdown and whatever's causing this kind of a conflict that's coming in, don't let it take you too far away, Capricorn. Don't let it take you too far away because you've got something good here and you're, you're making progress and, um, 
I think you're going to have a beautiful weekend next week. Maybe this, well, you're starting out at the Ace of Pentacles. That's a beautiful place to be, Capricorn. But even next weekend, um, around the 20th or so, uh, I think that you're going to have a really fun and, and delicious weekend as well. And you have this um, Knight of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles connected in. So I think you're going to feel pretty grounded. And artists, when you're in that kind of creative place to feel grounded and feel comfortable with what you're doing, it really helps you to flow that energy, that creative energy. So, all right, my friends, I am going to move on to the extended now. We're going to take this energy and move it forward through um, the middle of March. We'll also pull some money cards and we'll pull some love cards, Capricorn. So that's what we're going to do in the extended. Um, for, for the rest of you that are going back to YouTube, thank you very much for being here. I always appreciate uh, you listening and, and being here for my readings. And I hope that they help and resonate with you uh, more often than not, my friends. So thank you all very much. And I'll see you hopefully next week with another reading uh, for Capricorn. Thank you.